right guys and we are back with another video so this time um i'm actually i had already started because i was trying to figure out um how i could make up my own superhero what would her superhero like what would her superpowers be you know um all of that because this is yet um another um style that is you know not something that i normally draw and i thought it would be fun a fun exercise to do so the first thing that came to mind when i thought superhero i was thinking avengers scarlett johansson kim possible i wanted her to because this is my first time trying i wanted it to sort of still be you know, i wanted it to be like a regular girl and I knew I wanted her su her superpowers to be regular because um, Kim Possible would probably be my favorite superhero because she's just a regular girl, you know, high school girl. And her, her powers were just, I mean, she was just... I mean, maybe just had some good... Uh, crea took some really good karate classes or or something like that because now i can't even think of what kim possible's superpowers were or if she actually had superpowers so technically was she like a superhero i mean she was y'all but listen if you watch kim possible listen you get me she was really the inspiration behind my girl here anyway so for the superpower i couldn't really think of um one that I wanted it to be because I really didn't have like a, a whole story behind her but um I knew I just sort of wanted to try this and just see where it went so to be honest I just went you know as I just was drawing and just adding different things I sort of just went to adding you know with um drawing her her bodysuit I wanted it to sort of be inspired by like how their how the bodysuit was designed for Black Panther those those um uh, those superhero outfits were everything okay sorry I lost my my train of thought for a minute but their outfits were everything the design the texture like they were so lit and that was how i thought of the top part and like i remember his sister and her hair so i was like you know the the top buns like i just was grabbing straws from everywhere okay so that is sort of how i sort of just came up with this style and i just started just adding other things you know as i was going because I wanted to make sure that the um, the bodysuit was intricate. You know, I wanted her suit to be functional, but I wanted, you know, there to be like little gadgets and different stuff. And so um, I really just came up with just making her, her power be art, you know, and <laughs> paint. And then, so in Kim Possible, like a lot of her little gadgets are like cute stuff like lipsticks, and um compact mirrors and um makeup compacts and stuff like that and like they all do these different things like I believe the lipstick was like a laser or something like that or whatever but so I was like okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that same style and think of you know take the art supplies and like each one of those little paint brushes do something different you know and then the pack that is attached to her leg i was like we could make it look like it's like little um paint palettes you know <laughs> i don't know y'all i was you know just getting more inventive as i kept going you know and just wanted to add more because i knew that if i was going to make it where her power was art and you know painting and drawing and different stuff like that then I knew I wanted her to be as colorful as possible. And so I knew I had to just make sure I added enough detail to her to be able to use, you know, as many colors as possible. All right, so just, just when I was thinking, okay, you know, I want to make her powers just regular, I instantly was like, you know what? I want to try to make like a, like, you know how you draw where you know this the the superhero they're about to like you know throw a fireball of whatever at you know the villain so i was like okay i want to draw where she's like 
getting ready to throw this paint this paint fireball or maybe i should say um this this i have no idea y'all okay i cannot even think of what to even call it but i wanted to have like her you know about to just throw this massive amount of paint rainbow ish paint you know at someone you know because she's you know she's in the middle of you know of a fight so um I was like oh my god that, that would look so neat and that um drawing that hand first of all let me tell y'all something that was a struggle and that's exactly why I wanted to try it because I was like you know I have I don't think I've ever um tried to draw you know like that hand style that hand pose ever and so I was like you know what let's try this let's try this let's let's push ourselves let's continue to you know work on drawing different things and that's the whole purpose of it is because it'll push you to draw different things that you probably never thought you would be able to draw and um yeah because I've got a, a whole inktober series guys which I hope you guys stay tuned because for inktober I am drawing every single day and along with the photos that i'm drawing there is a story that's going along with it i love i love drawings but listen some of them be so creative uh, when i be on people pages and i wish they had stories along with them you know so i am gonna do that for inktober i have um already created my character and her friends and different things i am so excited about it and listen like it's the beginning of august okay like that should tell you how geeked up i am um, but I am definitely doing that. So please stay tuned for that. Um, but back to our superhero girl, which she still has no name, y'all. But um, yeah, I've got her throwing that. And I, I mean, I even got fancy. She's got a little mask on, you know. And I added like, I wanted to have like a control, her to have like a control panel on her arm. And it's like, Maybe, you know, with each with each different color, each different color could, you know, be a different power or it could be a different way that she can, you know, whatever. It's cute. I liked it. So I added them, you know, I thought that it went um, with our little theme we got going here. And sorry if I'm going in and out there or whatever, but I went ahead and started my inking and my pen did start to go out sort of more so to the end, but... You know, we made it. So for my colors, um, I went, I wanted to go more with them, like the primary colors and like the standard colors that you probably would get in a Crayola box. Um, and for me, those standard colors that come quickly to mind, that's orange, that's yellow, blue, purple, pink, red, white, black. Um, so I know I wanted to sort of stick with those colors. I wanted her to be bright, but at the same time, I didn't want it to just look like we just had um just splatters of color everywhere i wanted her colorful but i wanted it um to at least you know look right i don't want it to look like i just oh i'm just gonna put one color here i'm just gonna put one color there right so i just wanted to make sure that it looked you know cohesive and also you know looked like we really you know took our time because even though I wasn't, I didn't know exactly what colors I wanted to do from the beginning. I didn't do a whole bunch of like swatches and, you know, thumbnails of, you know, figure out, you know, this is just an exercise. It's nothing major. Okay. But, you know, I don't want it to look rushed or just, you know, just end up messing it up because I'm just using, just slapping colors on there. 
started to add the colors to me I was just loving it like the bottom it was like I feel like everything sort of just was fitting as well like I love how the bottom came out um I had to add pink okay this pink is popping I love this color out of the Ohuhu brush markers which um again I use my Ohuhu brush markers for this and a couple of my regular Ohuhu markers y'all I'm in love with those markers okay like, listen, these markers are bomb, okay? Um, I haven't, and the thing is, I haven't even bought any more Copics to build my Copic collection, you know, just because I've just been really satisfied with using these markers. I use them every chance I get, and I have not been let down yet, okay? So, um, the more and the more I started to build the colors, I was just falling in love with it. And I was like, you know what? Um, as I was getting closer to the end and the last things that I had to color in was like her hair and um, and her skin. I was like, oh yeah, we're going to go all the way. Like she's going to be every color of, of the rainbow. Okay. Roy G. Biv all up and through here. coloring in her hair I went with um the lavender I think this is R11 and I use it a lot for my shading along with like a gray a light gray and as soon as I started coloring her in I instantly thought of um I cannot think of her name right now but um if you grew up in the 90s then you should know about the cartoon Doug and Doug was in love and infatuated with um Patty, Patty Mayonnaise, that's her, okay. And so Patty had a friend that was this exact same color and I loved her friend. And I cannot think of her friend right now, but listen, this is her friend, okay? <laughs> I, that is what I was thinking when I was coloring, coloring her skin and I was like, oh, wow, it just took me back. That's so random, y'all, but that's what inspired her skin. Anyway, um, I am loving, I loved how my, my blob of paint that is, that is floating over there came out. Like it's just a rainbow of paint that she throws at her villains, you know, like she is just coming out everything. She's so lit. Like I love it. Okay. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so proud of myself because this is so out of my element, but, um, She's she's just everything. Please let me know what you guys think down in the comments and and let me first say 
Hello, hello, hello to every one of my new subscribers. I already love you guys. You guys hype me up so much that I, I be so geeked. Every time I get a new subscriber, every time y'all leave a comment, I get so geeked. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I am trying to make sure that I'm going to be posting a video at least three every week. If I could do almost every day, I really, really would. Um but welcome i'm i'm so I, I love every time there's a new notification let it be know there's a new subscriber or a new comment so you guys let me know what you guys think of this new superhero and what her name should be as i was getting to the end of this video i was thinking of sheba but i don't know if she will really fit you know like is that artistic enough you know so help me figure out a name for her superhero you guys help me come up with a name for her and thanks for watching i will see you guys in the next video it's